Andrew Brown. The Andrew Brown shooting. Seven North Carolina deputies placed on leave. Family of 42-year-old said they met with Elizabeth City Sheriff, but were not shown body camera footage of his death. And that is very, very suspicious. Whenever a family is seeking footage of their loved one being killed, you know, it, it, it just makes sense to me that you would just release that footage. But you know how it goes. You know, when, when whenever it's a, it's a shooting of a person who, let's just say, has a darker pigment, it's always some dubious circumstances. Have you have you quite noticed that? I've noticed that. And Pepper's Farms has definitely noticed that. After seven North Carolina deputies were placed on leave at, over the death of Andrew Brown Jr., an African-American man shot during the serving of a drug-related warrant, authorities in, in Elizabeth City added to calls for body camera footage to be released. Reports have said Brown, 42, was shot in the back on Wednesday as he tried to drive away. In a press conference on Friday, the Pascotonk, County Sheriff Tommy Wooten the second expressed condolences to Brown's family to express condolences to Brown's family and pledged that if any deputies are found to have violated laws or policies they will be held accountable. Wooten confirmed that at least one deputy was wearing an active body camera. No timetable was given for release of that footage. Under North Carolina law a, a judge must sign off on release of body camera footage but the law also says anyone can file a petition seeking its release. News outlets have filed a petition to a local judge. So again, you got to file petitions to have it released. Again, if any time a state soldier, any time a public employee, a public official, a government employee, a police officer, a correctional officer, an EMT, or, or a paramedic, anyone that has a position of power over someone's life at any given moment, that should be released to the public. I think most people in those positions would actually agree because I think that many of those people are good at, good at their jobs, especially the EMTs and paramedics. And so that would clear them up. You know, that would, that would show the public what kind of courageous work that they, that they do. But when it comes to police officers, it, it's just like cameras are to them what silver is to a damn vampire or a goddamn werewolf, you know. They always claim, oh, oh well, well, we want to wear our body camera footage, but you, you notice that, that they always turn them off. Or the, or the body camera is suddenly uh, out of battery power. Or it was conveniently pointed a different way. Or the officer who does the shooting doesn't even have a freaking body camera on. Or when you do no-knock warrants, there's no body camera. There's no footage of it. It's, it's, it's very strange. Very strange how that, how that works out. You know, I find that very, very odd, don't you? Enough from the clown. It just seems to me, you know, that's some clown shit. That's some real clown shit. And, you know, it seems to me a strange thing. It's a very, very strange thing. It's a very, very strange thing how that works out. So. The Brown family said they met with authorities, but were not shown the footage at a press conference on, on Saturday. Officials, including Betty Parker. The mayor of, of Elizabeth City joined calls for more information to be released. Parker said her lawyers had asked for the footage. We were told by our attorney that more than likely will not get it, she said, adding that she wanted the law surrounding disclosures of body camera footage changed as quickly as possible. The Elizabeth City manager, Montre Freeman, said he would hope and trust the sheriff's office release more information. Hope and trust. Hope and trust. That's a, it seems to me a strange thing. How do you have politicians, the general public, you have the news media all filing for disclosure, and yet there is a delay? Well, we got to get the footage ready. No, 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 no. Just hand over the goddamn body camera. We'll download it, and we'll hand it back right in front of you. Have one of your officers observe it. Give the footage over immediately. Someone's loved one is dying. Someone... Someone's loved one is dead right now. Someone's loved one right now is dead right now. Someone's loved one is gone and you have not given them an explanation as to why. They want to see footage. You said there is footage, so hand over the footage. I'm trying with everything in me to believe that they're going to do, do the right thing, Freeman said. I truly believe that the sheriff will wants that information is ready but time is truly of the essence and i'm going to and i'm going to just focus on protecting people as we work through this process wooten has has said deputies including a tactical team 
were attempting to serve drug-related search and, and, and arrest warrants when Brown was shot. Nearby Dare County issued arrest warrants for Brown on drug-related charges relating, including possession with intent to sell cocaine. Brown had a criminal history dating to the 1990s, including drug convictions. So again, it's a bunch of drug war nonsense. This man is being demonized for a bunch of drug war nonsense. I don't care if you do if you if you do cocaine or you sell it. I don't care. The same way that people in the Rust Belt should not be demonized for doing opioids or even selling it. Same way I'm saying it here. The drug war is stupid, and this man has lost his life. Was was, was basically about the, about the, about to have his have his constitutional rights violated. Cops were going to rush into his home like goddamn stormtroopers over drugs. How much tax, how much of my tax dollars and your tax dollars have been spent on going after goddamn drugs and people selling drugs and doing drugs? How, how many people in prison right now are locked up when their only crime is doing some drugs or selling them? Do you give a damn if someone sells some drugs or do drugs at this point in time when the government shuts down businesses, causes you to lose your job, causes your business to, to fucking go under, causes people to, to, to kill themselves? Children got them locked up. Do you give a shit what someone does to make ends meet at this point in time in history? Do you care? I don't care. I don't care if you sell drugs. I don't care if you are a goddamn prostitute. Because I'm not a goddamn bootlicker. I'm not a goddamn bootlicker. This man died for nothing. And that's why they are delaying with handing over the goddamn body camera footage. That's why they are delaying it. That's why they are, they are delaying it. Recordings of scanner traffic compiled by broad, Broadcastify.com include emergency personnel indicating Brown was shot in the back. In the back? Wait a minute. So this man was shot in the back? I, I thought that we, and we already set a precedent with that bullshit with freaking Walter Scott. You don't shoot people in the back. An eyewitness has said deputies fire as he tried to drive away. A car, a car removed from the scene appeared to have multiple bullet holes and shattered back, and a shattered back window. So wait a minute. So he was trying to trying to drive away. Right, selling drugs does not inherently make you dangerous. They were serving a, a warrant, for him selling drugs, not for him raping somebody, not for him killing somebody. For drugs. You know, what if he was one of those people? Yeah, sure, he has a criminal history. But what if during this period he had a job and because of the government shutting down the whole damn, damn U.S. economy, especially, especially a, a, a lot of these local, these, these, these local state and, and, these, and, these, and these small towns, they shut down your business. It calls you to lose money on your damn payrolls. So you got to you got to cut people. What if he was one of those people who was just at this point in time getting his life right? And he just lost his job. And he said, well, I'm going to go back to what I was doing then. I try to be honest. And the government fucked me over. There is nothing more American than that in this moment right now. And they shot this man because he was running. In scanner recordings, a woman refers to the address where the warrant was served and can be heard, heard to say, we are responding. Law enforcement on, on scene advises shot fires. Law enforcement on scene advises shots fired. Need emergency medical services. A male voice says EMS has, has got one male, 42 years of age, gunshot to the back. We do have viable pulse at this time. Wow. Wow. And, and there's even more here. I'm, I'm, I'm very curious about this story because I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to become something here. Someone then says first responders were trying to, re to resuscitate the man. Wooten, the district Wooten, the, the district attorney and the state medical examiner, have yet to respond to requests for comment on the scanner recordings. North Carolina's Bureau of, of, of Investigation also declined to comment. 
Brown's death came just days after the former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin was convicted of murder in the death of George Floyd. And in a mid national controversy over the police shooting deaths of Dante Wright, 20 in Brooklyn City, 20 in Brooklyn Center, Minnesota. And on April 11th, on April the 11th, and Micaiah Bryant, 16, in Ohio on Tuesday. In Elizabeth City on Thursday, protesters de de demanded to be told why deputies opened fire in a residential area. That is, that's very true. They fired a shot in a freaking school zone, said Quentin Jackson, regional director for the National Black Caucus for, of, elected, of local elected officials. When does this stop? When does this stop? I, I got to ask the same question, man. When does this stop? Unbelievable. You shot the man in the back. You didn't mention any, any recovery of any kind of weapons, right? And you just killed this man. You just killed this man. And unbelievable, man. You still got this shit going on now. Unbelievable. Unbelievable.